During this virtual macaque lesson, we are going to be capturing this beautifully dazzling rainbow unicorn using just a sheet of white drawing paper. I have some pencil colors here. I'm using just plain Crayola. I have a sketching pencil and eraser, and this is optional. I have a tiny bit of white acrylic paint that I have on a small piece of paper that I'm using as a palette and a tiny paintbrush. If you do not have a paintbrush this small, you can use a toothpick or even a sharp pencil to apply the paint. Now, the first thing we are going to do before we start our dazzling unicorn is create a smaller frame within our page. Now, we're doing this because pencil colors are hard work. So we don't want to have to fill this entire page. We're gonna be working to a, a much smaller area. So what I'm going to do, and you can use a ruler to do this if you would like to, I'm going to come down a little bit and create a little rectangle on my page here. Coming down again and joining up at the bottom there. So this is where my unicorn is going to appear. Now, I've got my little rectangle that I'm going to be working within, so I'm going to go ahead and start my unicorn. Now, I'm going back up to the top of my little frame that I've created here. Right in the middle, I'm going to come down about an inch and a half. Everyone's going to have different sized rectangles, so just kind of guesstimate where. And I'm going to put a small visual marker. That's the top of my unicorn's head. Now, I'm doing that to make sure I'm not making my unicorn's head too big. You have to think, a unicorn, what's gonna be up here? We're gonna have a nice horn, we're gonna have some ears and a beautiful forelock. If I cram my unicorn's head too high up, I'm not gonna have any space for that. So I want a nice amount of space at the top so I can fit all of that in. Then follow that down, another visual marker. Now this is a goofy cartoon unicorn. It does not have to be perfect. So what we're going to do is turn our two visual markers. We're gonna follow around the outside and create a nice goofy looking rounded head for our unicorn. I'm using a nice light wispy stroke. Whenever I draw, my starting image, I press as lightly as I can, so I end up with a nice light outline that I can erase if I need to. If I press too hard and I score my pencil across the paper, I'm going to end up with little indentations in the paper, and no matter how much I erase, they will not go away. So it's very important when you're sketching to tickle the paper as lightly as you can. Now, my horse right now is a floating head, so let's add a couple more bits and pieces here. Now, coming out from the right, so I'm starting at the top again here, I'm going to have a little unicorn ear coming out to the side there. Almost touches the side, but not quite. And then I'm going to roll around the head here, and on the other side, I'm going to have another ear. They don't have to be the same. This is a goofy-looking cartoon unicorn. So I've got two ears, one slightly bigger than the other. I like that. And I'm going to follow down each ear with a little line. So this is the inside of the ear, outside, outside, inside. It'll make more sense when we add some color. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is add my unicorn's horn. I'm going to have a large horn sticking up here. So I want the horn to start a little bit lower down on the head, about here. And it's going to go off at a slight angle, and I'm putting a little spot to show where the top of the horn is going to be. Now what I'm going to do is a little curved pattern, like this, going up and down. You could even just do a straight horn up and down if you want to. Now what I'm getting now is overlaying lines, so I'm going to use my eraser to take out the lines that you see through the horn there. There we go. Now my poor little unicorn has no face. What I'm gonna do is separate down here for a bit of a muzzle. So I'm gonna do a nice rolling line going over the nose and I'm gonna create two little love hearts. One, two for my little unicorn's nostril. She's gonna be very lovey-dovey, very cute. 
Now I'm going to start up around my horn here. I imagine a beautiful explosion of rainbow colors for my unicorn's forelock and mane. So what I need to do is sketch that first. I'm gonna do a large chunk of hair that rolls out around to the left, sweeps in front, and goes back up. That's the first chunk. And then this one is gonna curl down onto her face and go back up. And then I'll have another one that sweeps out to the side. Have a play around with your horse's hair. You can really do whatever you want. Your unicorn, jazz her up. So that one, and I'm just gonna do one more that comes out to the side here like that and again it's getting confusing i have lines that you can see through so i'm going back in with my eraser and i'm taking out all of the lines that i don't want you cannot see the horse's head through the hair there we go so making adjustments as i go so it doesn't get confusing i think i can get one more little whiff of hair going up there as well wonderful now I'm going to have my unicorn with closed eyes, it's a little bit easier, so I'm just going to do a little arch here to show that her eye is closed. And then for my unicorn's body, I'm just going to do a little whoop to show the shoulders. And then for her flowing mane, starting right at the base of her ear, I'm going to do a gentle little wave that comes down and out. And again. And again. And one more. So I've got one, two, three, four chunks of hair going down one side. And on the opposite side here, let's do a nice gentle wave again. Lovely. Okay, so that is my unicorn totally ready for some color. Now what I'm actually going to do is a nice dark outline using a black colored pencil. So short, sharp strokes, digging my pencil in. I'm going all the way around every single line like this, creating a nice dark finish, a really beautiful illustrated line. Now remember, your paper is not stuck to the table. You can rotate it to make an easier angle to work from. So again, short, sharp lines, a beautiful dark illustrated outside edge. Let's go all the way around the outside of our horse. There we are, lovely, she's looking adorable. So what I'm going to do now is add just a couple little eyelashes to her eye. So coming out from the side, just wisping around, making her look very lovely and gracious with some very cute little eyelashes there. Now I'm done with my black pencil, that goes over to the side, and I'm gonna bring in my pencil colors here. I've already pre-selected, she's gonna be magically rainbowy. There we go. So what I'm going to do first is start with my yellow pencil. I'm starting with my lighter color first. Now let's work through this beautiful unicorn together and bring her to life with some magical rainbow colors. So the first place I'm going to add my yellow is up high, my highest strip of hair up here. I'm gonna go all over this one section here, adding a beautiful bright yellow base. There we are. Don't be afraid to put lots of pressure on the pencil color. You want that yellow to stand out nice and bright, beautiful. Now we're going to add yellow through a few other different areas. Now we're gonna miss this one, next one down. We're going to add yellow as well. 
Perhaps you don't have the same amount of hair, chunks of hair as I do. It doesn't matter. You can change yours up a little bit. Perhaps you want your unicorn to have just pink hair. Totally up to you. Your unicorn. Do whatever you want for yours. Now, this large chunk of hair on the forelock here. Same again. Bright yellow. In there. Lovely. And I'm also going to do not this one, the next one sticking out here. Nice bright yellow. Wonderful. Then the last area I'm going to add yellow on my unicorn, and then I am done with the yellow, is the horn. I'm going to go up through the horn, adding a nice bright yellow all the way up. There we go. Yellow is done. Now the next color I'm going to use is orange. So I'm starting low down on the same strip of hair here that I was doing up high. And I'm going to press nice and hard to begin with, down low. As I come over the strip of hair, I am getting lighter and lighter and lighter. So I'm tickling the paper as lightly as I can. There we go. And do you see how it's blended over from orange right over to the yellow. Beautiful. And I'm going to do the same, turning my paper to make an easier angle. I'm going to do the same on this strip of hair here. So starting nice and hard, pressing really hard with the orange all the way along the outside. And then as I drift on to that chunk of forelock there, I'm getting lighter and lighter and tickling the paper as I come across. So I end up with a smooth blend from the dark over to the light, a beautiful smooth blend. That's all we need with the orange. The orange is done. We've gone through two colors so far. Now next, I'm going to switch to my red. I'm going to brighten up this a little bit more. So down low where my orange is, I'm going to again press nice and hard and go in with a little bit of red. We are layering up our pencil colors to get them to really stand out. You can go over your pencil colors as many times as you like to bring them to life. There we are. We're not done with the red. We have a couple more areas to do, but we're gonna leave that one until later. Now, next, I'm gonna start using my light pink, my lovely light pink. Now, I have quite a few areas to do with my pink. So what I'm going to do first is start in this strip of hair here. And I'm using the flat, I'm using my pencil on its side here. And I'm going to go all over that chunk of hair, leaving a lovely bright pink behind. That is gorgeous. Just what my unicorn needed. A lovely splash of pink. Wonderful. Same thing on this chunk of hair here. So same again. Just fill in that entire chunk of hair with a lovely bright pink. Now, a few other areas that this pink is going to be used in is the inside of the ear, the inside here, not this bit. This is the outside, this section here. So we're going to do a little bit of pink inside the ears. One and two. There we go. And then this section of hair over here as well. Let's do pink all the way down. Again, I'm pressing nice and hard. I really want my pink to stand out beautiful and bold. There we go. Now, this pink is going to be used on the cheeks. We've been pressing really hard so far to get that color to stand out. We want a very delicate blush on the cheeks. So I'm changing up the pressure. I am using the flat of the pencil, not the pointy bit, the flat. And I'm gonna work in a small circle motion using the flat and I'm creating a beautiful, delicate, rosy cheek. Nice and gentle. And let's do the same on the other side. It's nowhere near as powerful as the pink here. Just very gently tickling the paper with that rosy cheek there. Beautiful. Now for this, I need to turn my paper to a slightly easier angle for me to work at. I'm going to create a nice, pink muzzle, which is dark on the outside and gets lighter towards the center. 
Now, to do this, ignore these love hearts. Pretend they are not there. I'm going to start with my pencil rolling over the top of the muzzle here, pressing hard as I come down, going straight over the hearts. I get lighter and lighter, taking off the pressure as I come towards the center of the muzzle. Now I'm going to rotate my paper to make easier angles as I work my way around the muzzle. So now my unicorn's standing on her head. Oh dear, she doesn't mind. And again, arching my pencil, so I'm following the shape of the nose. My pencil runs around the shape of the nose. As I come in, take off the pressure and get lighter and lighter towards the center. So she doesn't look flat. What we're doing is making it look as though the sides of her muzzle are shadowed and the middle is lighter, where it's closer towards us. So she's starting to look rounded and not flat. Very clever technique. Takes a little bit of practice to get used to varying the pressure of the pencil though. Now we're gonna exaggerate that by picking up our lovely pinky purple shade here. Everyone's gonna have something different. Maybe you're using pure purple, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna do the same again, focusing on the outside edge of my unicorn's nose, muzzle, pressing a little bit harder just to intensify that color on the very outer edge here. There we are. Lovely. Now with this lovely purple shade here, up high this time on my pink strip of hair, I'm going to go in nice and hard, pressing down on the paper to get a dark strip. And then I'm going to again take off the pressure, pressing lighter and lighter and tickling the paper so it blends down into the lighter pink. Gorgeous. Let's do the same on this one here. So on the outer edge, pressing nice and hard. Now you see why we're using a much smaller scale, because pencil colors are hard work. Yes, they are. So same here. This time we're going to go hmm, down low, pressing hard and taking off the pressure as we come up. There we are. And then inside the ears, we can add a little bit of dark as well, low down. There we are. She's coming to life. Beautiful. Now, next, I'm going to use my green. So again, you don't need to follow these colors exact. Perhaps you've got a totally different color scheme going on your unicorn. That's absolutely fine. It's your masterpiece. So using the green here, I'm going to start up high on this chunk of hair. Pressing nice and hard again to get a really solid color as I come down, taking off the pressure and blending back into the yellow. Is she starting to look a little bit rainbowy? I think so. Beautiful. And I'm going to rotate a little bit and do the same on this chunk of hair here. This time I'm going to have the green low down on her hair. And as I come up this chunk of hair, it's going to blend back into the yellow. So I have this really funky looking two-toned rainbow hair. Wonderful. Now I really like that green and I'm actually going to dazzle the unicorn's horn by adding some of that green up through it as well. So I'm going to add it to the back edge of the horn here, following the shape. So I'm doing each individual section with a little splash of that lovely bright green. Wonderful. Oh, she's looking glamorous. I love it. I'm done with my green, laying that down, and I'm going to switch to my blue pencil now. I've got a couple chunks of hair remaining, and you've guessed it, they're going to be blue. So what I'm going to do here is start down low on this chunk of hair, pressing hard, Nice and hard. Now, as I come up over the unicorn's hair, I'm starting to take off the pressure. Again, this takes practice. Take off the pressure and blending into a lighter shade of blue into the white of the paper there. Wonderful. I'm rotating. Mrs. Unicorn's going to be on her head for a second. 
and staying here nice and hard along the lower edge as you go across take off the pressure blending back into the white of the paper so your strand of hair or chunk of hair sorry is dark on one side and lighter on the other wonderful if you've gone very heavy all the way across what you can do is get an eraser and gently lift part of that area you can lift a lot of pencil color using an eraser we don't want to lift it completely you just want to gently lighten that area and this one chunk of hair that I have up here as well doing the same thing very nice now I'm actually going to use a darker shade of blue as well I want to intensify these strands of hair by adding a bit of a darker blue down low Again, it doesn't matter if you don't have this, we're all doing something a little bit different. I am absolutely certain that no two unicorns are going to look the same. Every artist is different. Lovely. Now, what I would like to do is get my two little love hearts here to stand out. So I'm going to use a nice bright red pencil and chisel in nice and hard, beautiful and dark using the point of the pencil one lovely nostril and another lovely bright nostril wonderful there we go I just want to again make this look a little bit brighter everyone's got something different stop what you're doing lean back and look at your unicorn is the hair bright enough do you need to intensify your colors by going in a little bit harder with the pencil color Remember, this is why we're working to a small scale. It is hard work, isn't it? But it's totally worth it. Look at her. She's beautiful. Well done, guys. Okay, so the background is left white. You can sparkify that if you would like to. I'm going to show you how, and this is optional. She looks beautiful the way she is, but I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm going back to my purpley pink tone here, and I'm using the flat of the pencil, not the point, the flat. I'm going to rotate my work to make a slightly easier angle. What I'm going to do is work in a small circular motion. Do you see my pencil? I'll slow down. Do you see my pencil going around and around? Not up and down, not across around and around I have so much control over my pencil when I work in a small circular motion and use the flat and not the point it leaves me a beautiful smooth finish behind there we go now I'm going to continue this around the outside here being very careful to stay away from those sparkly white areas see how they stand out even more when we have color in the background that's just what we want so capturing that little circle motion as I creep over towards the right hand side here I don't want to continue that color I want it to start getting lighter and lighter so again I'm taking off the pressure starting to tickle the paper as lightly as I can in this area tickle tickle all the way over until it blends into the white and I want to go in just a little bit more intense over here so I want a nice dark pinky purple that gently tapers off gets lighter and lighter as it reaches around the unicorn's head creating a little bit of depth in the background now, if we do one flat color in the background, it can look very attractive, but it's flat. It looks very, very flat. Whereas if I vary the pressure and have dark areas and light areas, the light comes forward and the dark goes back, creating some lovely depth behind my unicorn. It's a very clever, sneaky little trick that artists use, but it really is successful. It looks lovely. So again, very lightly down here, just hinting at a soft area of color down around my unicorn there. 
Beautiful. Now, to intensify my background a little bit more, I'm going in with my red, just in this area here. So again, circle motion, round and around. You see how it's making it much darker. This is darker than this area here. You can layer up as many different pencil colors as you like. You will just keep on creating more and more and more depth. When you lay one pencil color on top of another, it's like mixing with paint. If you lay, let's say, a yellow on top of a blue, you're going to end up with a nice green tint. It's very clever and very fun too. So have some fun with it. Practice, play with your colors and see what gorgeous creations you can come up with. Gently taking off the pressure as I go over. A little bit down here. Oh, she looks wonderful. Now for the next step on our darling little unicorns, we are going to add some dazzles and sparkles. Now this is optional. Your unicorn could be totally done right now. If you would like to jazz her up a little bit more, you can always grab the glitter. You can't go wrong with that. Or what I am doing is I'm using a small amount of white acrylic paint. Now I just have a scrap of paper here and I've just dolloped a tiny bit of paint on here. That's all you need. I'm not going to pull out my paint palette to do this tiny bit of detail. Now I also have a very tiny, tiny head paintbrush here. You can barely see it. Such a small brush. Now a lot of you won't have these. You can also use a toothpick as well. Just something with a very fine point to it or even a sharpened pencil. We can improvise. There's lots of different things you can use. Now what I'm going to do is pick up a tiny, tiny amount of white paint on the end. It's very important that we use a small tool because it really limits us. We cannot possibly pick up a lot of paint with this tiny little tool. And then what I'm going to do is add some sparkle dust in the background. So using my brush upright like this, not laid down, upright, I am gently tapping the surface of the paper. And can you see I'm getting some lovely little details showing through. This is my unicorn sparkle. That could be her name, Sparkle. Can you think of a name for your unicorn? Anything that you want. Now, to be fair, you can really never have enough sparkles. So take your time, add as many gorgeous little dazzles as you want, but make sure you are only using the very, very tip of a tiny brush or a sharpened pencil or a Q-tip. So you have lots of control over the size of your little dazzling sparkles. Now we're not done there. We can also add some lovely highlights to the unicorn's horn. So down through the center, I'm adding just a little dazzle of white. So it looks shiny, wonderful. And then down through some of her little chunks of hair, I'm gonna just whip my brush around again, the Q-tip, oh, sorry, the Q-tip, the down through her little chunks of hair here like this. Now your toothpick or your pencil will do exactly the same thing with a little bit of white acrylic paint on it. Just to add some fun detail. There we go. In the ears, you can add as much as you want. Now if you go too heavy with your white acrylic paint, one of the really lovely things about using these two materials is together is as soon as your acrylic paint has dried, you can go over the top of it with pencil color and thin it down again. There is always something that you can do. It's just learning what materials work well with what materials. So there you go. Pencil color works wonderfully on top of acrylic paint when it's dried. Wait for it to dry first. Now the last place I want to dazzle is I'm going to add a little highlight to the love hearts here on her nose. So one and two. And there we have our completed sparkle unicorn. Doesn't she look wonderful? And there we have our totally completed 
beautiful sparkly unicorns. Now, if you enjoyed creating this sparkly unicorn, have a go at doing another one, but this time do a different palette. By that, I mean choose different colors. We used all colors for this unicorn. She's beautiful and rainbowy. Perhaps try using just hot colors like reds, oranges, and yellows, or cool colors, which will be your greens and blues and purples. This unicorn has her eye closed like she's falling asleep. Perhaps you can do an open eye, which is beautifully dazzling with all sorts of rainbow colors in there. Have a play around with your sketch, have some fun and see what you can create by yourself. We would absolutely love to see what you create. So don't forget to share your masterpieces on Facebook, Instagram, or through the student portal in Virtual Makat. Whatever you choose to do, remember the most important thing is that you have fun with it. So enjoy.